that state with a different route. But actually, that's the concept of the navigation experimental, I guess. Because it kind of. It, it, yeah, it's kind kind of this. Yeah. So I just take this for the navigator. I just take <laughs> this right here. Yeah. For now, for now, let's uh, keep it simple. So just use this navigator, uh, embed it into your application where you render it. Where am I rendering here? Yes. So where no, do I, I put mean, it? Yeah. In return. Inside return. Oh, and so just directly inside it. Uh, yes, just here. But now the most complicated part comes to the table because you can't actually have this markup anymore because this markup should be in the separated component that you're gonna use by this navigator. So this this is not like your app is not that component, right? That component is just like your index page. Yeah. So now I have to create another component. Yeah, create some file and call it I don't know. Home page. All the same file. Yeah, it's theoretically, but it's simpler to home.js. Yeah, home.js. It's fine. Then. Uh, but then yeah. I need to do the whole. Yeah, of course you can copy it from the index file. No, no, no. Just go back, go to the index file, and yeah, this thing you like class, la la la. You can copy it here. Yep. And replace the body. Yeah. Actually, I never tried desserts. So. Chocolate lava cake seems to be good. Yeah, that sounds, sounds good. Sounds and again, good. like they mix English and Dutch, like what's going on? That's so, actually proper Dutch. Class home. Proud <laughs> Dutch. Yeah. I doubt that. It could be. It could be. <laughs> I doubt that. Proud <laughs> pleasers, proper Dutch. Well, I Google that. Lot, lots of words are borrowed. From yeah, English. So. Crowd pleaser. <laughs> okay. Let's so check. class home. Do I just do? Do I have to import like component from React? Uh, yes, of course. You need to import um, view. You need to import text. So. And component itself, but capital V, capital capital T. Yeah. And I think you still. Uh, can you open index for a second? Yeah, it's not yeah, yeah, then you also have to uh, import this, the whole line, yeah. All of it? No, 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 just the, the seventh line. Yeah. Because component is not a part of React Native, but uh, a part, no, 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 no. Oh, just component? Yeah, just component and React, and this part was correct, actually. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, let, let me explain you something. So, basically, we're using components from React, okay. but we use view text from React Native. And not component. Not component, because component we use from the normal React. Normal. <laughs> yeah, well. Base. Okay, so now some Core React. Yeah. Well. Better not to click on the How signs because, it. yes, because <laughs> that's what happens. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Uh, this is fine. So, yeah, you right. can't find variable navigator because we don't require navigator there. So we have to require navigator. No, not here. Ah, no, here, here sorry. <laughs> it's, it's my bad. Yeah, um, yeah, just add navigator here. Yep. Also, so this part is done, but now you see here um, you're rendering a thing and you have an initial route. So, first of all, I think I need to explain you what it means. Okay. <laughs> so, initial, initial route. Okay, it doesn't explain much. But that's, uh, that's your initial stack. So you have a navigation stack, like in a browser, mm -hmm. and that's your initial point. So it's like title, just like a title. You can place whatever you want here, it doesn't matter. And index means index in the stack. So your initial route uh, is this, has this navigation stack. So it's, I mean, is it, is it I'm so confused. Yeah, okay. Look, so you don't have a browser history like in the browser, right? 
Yeah. So you have to construct it by yourself. Okay. So history in the browser is just a stack, stack of items. Okay. It's an array. An array. So and this is the first element in this stack in React Native. Okay. So you basically creating this navigator and you're saying like, okay, now I want to have a navigation stack and this is my first route in this navigation stack. And this is the function that takes um, your route, basically this thingy, mm -hmm. and navigator as itself, mm -hmm. which expose some APIs for navigation. Mm -hmm. And as a result, it returns a scene. Well, basically it returns a component that you want to render. So I can say this component is going to be home. Yes, exactly. And title is... Yeah, you can skip it because you don't really need it so far. But don't forget to require this component here because otherwise it will complain that it cannot find So import? Component. Not from here, but just as a standalone thingy. So import uh, home from uh, dot slash home. Yeah, but home is capital, I guess. H is capital, sorry. Yep. Uh, oh, and I have to use it somewhere, right? No, I don't. You already use it here, but can you open what it, what, what it complains about? What the... What the fuck? Can you go back to the code? Actually, it looks correct. Uh, okay, that's confusing. Can you open home? Is it because I'm using some style? Oh, you're not exporting anything from this file. Oh. So that's why. Export home extends. No, export default home, and that's it. That's fine. Yep, that's it. Woo! Congratulations! And we're high five! Yes! We did it! Great! Nice. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You know, it works. It works. <laughs> I have no idea what it means. I'm able to symbolicate stack trace. Stack is no. I have no clue what it is. Really. I mean, just, just, just no idea. Yeah, just ignore it for now. Okay, okay, so now I have to create it. Now I create individual components for these. Yes. Okay, this is great. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Yeah. Okay, so I go into here and I say new file and I call this apple. Yep. So you can copy over the whole. Yeah, exactly. That's the way we prototype. <laughs> Just change something, I don't know, whatever. What? Um, I actually think that yeah, it's gone. It's but it's probably because we had an error, and then it recovered from an error, and recovery wasn't that good, or something like that. I don't know. So once I have my CSS, once I have my CSS in my main app component, I can use my CSS anywhere. You have no CSS. I have my CSS in my index.ios.js. I mean, yeah. But I'm, I put this. Well, oh, well, styles aren't the same as CSS. There's some JavaScript. Yeah, okay, so it's like, not the CSS. So anytime, so if I use styles in my main app component, then I can use it anywhere no. in my app. No, you can export it and buy it. Yeah. Oh, so I have to import it? If you want. You can export it and then import it. Yeah, but you can just uh, copy them over here. Usually, the styles. Yeah. Copy the styles over. Well, usually you compose one file called something like thing.js. Yeah. And import it in the places you need it, and then you just use it like a regular CSS. Okay. So read. So new file. Yeah. Theme.js. Yeah, but it can be not capital, but because it's not going to be a component. But never mind. It can be. Yeah, no, we gotta do it right. Yeah, theme okay. If you JS. want to do it right, then yeah. Okay, so theme.js. Yeah. And then I take the 
CSS from here. Exactly. Or the styles from here. The whole thing. The whole thing. Yeah. Exactly. And I put it in here. Yeah. yeah. Bless you. Yeah, bless you. What happens? Are you fine? Oh. So this is that's it. Yes, but the only. But do thing, I need to export? Yeah, but what you can do uh, instead of call styles, you can export default. Yeah, and then remove styles and equals. Yeah, that's it. Uh, now you can use it whatever you want. So now I import it here. Yeah, of course. Not here, but as a standalone thingy because it's a standalone file. It's not a part of the app nature. Yeah. You forgot a slash. Oh. After the load, yeah. Awesome. And then I can use it, I have to stick it everywhere. Yeah. What you can do, instead of uh, saying, uh, can you open index for a second? Instead of saying uh, theme, uh, you can use uh, styles, because you already have some styles in the app. It's not called styles though. Yeah. But you can, if, if you Oh, export, I'm exporting default. Yeah, you're exporting so default, so you can call it whatever you want. But yeah, as far as you already use styles here, you can call Oh, it because styles. I'm saying styles don't. Yeah, exactly, that's what I mean. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> okay, what's breaking? Fix my errors first. Okay, Apple.js export default. Wait, what? Why the heck is it? That's really strange. Huh? Can you open uh, index? Uh, index okay, you can. I guess you can remove uh, styles from here because you're not using styles here at all. I mean, the whole import. Because you don't have any styles here, right? So you can go to the home page now. Okay, you import styles and then you use these things. Well, it actually should be fine. But you know what? Now I'm gonna show you something really interesting. Um, the way how React Native provides you the possibility to debug these things. Uh huh. So. If you press dismiss here and command D, and then you can start a remote debug JS remotely. Yep. Now open the console here. And console. Okay, now we see that style sheet is not defined. So go to your theme.js. Yeah. Oh, you see, you, you use uh, style sheets here, but you don't re uh, require it from React Native. So we need to import it from React Native first in order to use it. Oh God. So add one line above this. Import curly braces style sheet. Yeah. But I think as yeah, yeah, from React Native. But not a related class, but an absolute class because it's uh, in the node models, so it parses node models automatically. Okay, it doesn't give us any errors, <laughs> so that's a good sign. Can I end with this preload or no? Yeah, I think you can. So... Yeah, reload. Runtime is on... Okay, reload here. Okay, so now, dashable opacity is not defined. So can you click here? Yeah, yeah, you can click here or here, whatever. Or, yeah, you actually can click even here on this line, exactly. So I'm gonna open you... I don't get why oh, it opens open a new it. one. I don't really get why it's a new one instead of a new tab, but okay, so here, 
detachable opacity is not defined, you have to require it from React Native. Is it complete bullshit? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Doing good. Save it. And now, rel oh, it automatically reloads. Let's wait for a second. <laughs> I hope it's gonna work. <laughs> but you know, you never know. You never know until it compiles. You think it's uncompiling? No. <laughs> <laughs> Can you open a console? This it one? definitely should. No, 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 here in the browser. Okay, yeah, reload it and reload it here as well. Oh, yeah, it's fine. High five! <laughs> hey! No issues. Full <laughs> screen. Prototype. Oh, you this. can navigate already? Yes. Oh, that's well, no, not no, yet. No, no. We haven't configured it. We, we haven't configured that. Well, we embedded navigator, but we haven't configured routes yet. That's pretty good. Embedding the navigator wasn't bad. Well, it wasn't bad. It was terrible. Just, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so. Okay, so Apple. Okay, so I got Apple. I got Apple List. Awesome. So go back to the home. Okay. Yeah, so here now we have to provide some handlers. So do I need to import Apple? Yes, but I don't, well, let me check. I think you don't have to import it from here. Yeah, I guess you don't have to. Oh, you don't have to? Yeah, no, you don't have to. Why? So, what you, I, I, I will explain it. Okay. So first of all, what you need to do, you need to... Okay, so open your index, sorry. <laughs> open my index, okay. Okay, here you render this home component and you need to pass a navigator thingy inside this component in order to trigger some navigation APIs from the inside of home component. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, well, I really want to make it clear. Okay, because go ahead, go ahead. It's, it's like you're rendering, well, this function is meant to take this one as a route. So this first argument, route, is exactly what we have here, initial route, right? Yeah, this yeah, got thing. it, got it, yeah. So based on this route, based on this JSON information, mm -hmm. uh, we compose something that we render here. Now it's hard coded. It's always home. So whatever you provide in the initial route, it will be always home, right? Okay. Because we just hard coded it. Oh, so I should put it home here. Oh no, I put it here. Random yeah, we'll, uh, we we will come to this point. Okay, okay. <laughs> but if you want to um, provide some possibilities to navigate from the inside of home component, home component should know something about navigation API, right? Okay. But it doesn't know by default anything. Okay. So you have to pass navigator as a property of the home component in order to give it an access to navigator object. Okay. So just uh, add an additional property to the home and say like navigator equals navigator. <laughs> Do I have to capitalize it or? No, now it's just a property. It can be whatever you want. But of course, navigator should be in the curly braces, sorry. Uh, this one should be. Yeah. Awesome. So, this I'm defining myself. Yes, it's your custom uh, property. It can and be whatever you is, want. And this is my custom property too. No, this is a value of your custom property that you have from the closure. So you have this function. Well, let's call it different things. So I'll call it my navigator. Yeah, whatever. My navigator is navigator, which is yeah. that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's completely fine. So if you go now in the home, then in the render, you can just console log your these props my navigator. Let's do it just for that. After I return it? Before my return. Yeah, before your return. Just console log these props. How do I do that? Like this? No, just regular function call. 
So just usual, I don't know, parenthesis or exactly. whatever it's called. No, 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 it's not. Uh, just as an argument of the function call, you write this dot props dot right. uh, my navigator. There are coins here. Huh? Yeah, well, it, it's, oh. it's not finished yet. It's just a draft. It's just like, I don't know, 50% maybe of the whole article because it's just in the middle of, of the thing. Do you think it's cool? It's alright. Uh, there's a few things that you could probably. I will do that. I will do that. Okay, nothing broke. Okay, that's oh, cool. But yes, exactly. So in the console log, that's that's your constructor. And as you can see, you can you open it? Just click on it. Okay, scroll down. You should have some APIs here. Yes, you have pop. You have push. This pull, kind of. What about pull? <laughs> Yeah, when you want so to go back. So when you push back. something, do you pull it in code? What's that? When you push something in code, do you actually pull it? <laughs> <laughs> no, for some reason that, yeah. No. They don't understand Spanish, yeah. right? It's like, yeah, because well. there's no, like, yeah. it's a physical issue. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it works well in the, yeah, in the internet world. OK, so now what? Um, well, now, as you can see, you have this, uh, Thingy called push. So what you can do, go back to your home. Yeah. So what are you gonna do? Now you have the touchable opacity, right? So and it's a button. So let's write the handler for that. So you can write on press. Uh, where do I do it? Yeah, Over just here? just here. On press. Yes, correct. It's on press React Native. Uh, it's just a handler. It's just a property. So it's fine. Yeah, then uh, curly, yeah. And then we gonna say something like navigator, oh sorry, this props my navigator dot push. This props? No, this dot props, yeah, dot my navigator or whatever you call it, yeah, dot push. And as argument, you have to provide, as an argument, you have to provide a new JSON for the next element in your navigation stack. So, yeah. Sorry. Well, what? So, call it with uh, object. Like that? Uh, yeah, and now open an object. How do I open it? Uh, curly, yeah. No, 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 it's fine. Uh, and then now you have to write something like you wrote in the index.js. So if you open index.js for a second, you have to compose something like that. Route navigator? No, 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 this thingy. This is your initial route. And the next thingy that you're gonna, uh, that you're gonna push it. Yeah, you can copy this, for instance, and push it here. Oh, you have to double, yeah. Okay, save it. And index is one. Yeah, index is one. What about this title? Yeah, keep it this this way for now. But what you can do, wrap it into uh, into a function, so it should be like this. Um, and then this drops my sorry, like this. So use a function syntax. On on press. Yeah, because on press accepts a font. No, 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 no. Uh, so it should be like this. On press equals. Oh shit. Like this. Navigator. La 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 la. So like that. Um, yeah. Press equals. Space. Uh, yeah, exactly. Cool. Then it's a function because on press should should accept a function Woo! and that's a function. All right. So now you press and nothing should happen. <laughs> press. Okay, yeah, it navigates Woo! to the same thingy. Woo, this is so exciting! Yeah, but it navigates. The like, best thing ever! <laughs> let's put it like this, it navigates. So that's good. <laughs> okay, okay. And okay. now, uh, copy this on press thingy uh, for the banana. What? Yeah, just oh, copy I just do this. Oh, the same thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, do the same thing for banana. Yeah. 
Uh, do you want a more? Sure. Can we have two more? Yeah. Uh, Can I do um, a Malbec? And what are the duck things? It doesn't have like this du dirty duck black pepper buns. Does it have like meat in it or is it like buns or? Yeah, no, it's like the the Asian buns, like the sticky. Like, like a sandwich? Baby ones? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. But Let me do one of those. Yeah. Thank you. Because I know that I have tons of them. No, I think I can help you fix them. Yeah, sure. But there's also like. The bicode interpreter which translates people when you bicode to machine code. It doesn't really translate, it emulates. So it emulates. It emulates the bicode. Okay, that's that's the worst thing. Yeah, I, I'm not sure I get it. If you. So there, there's two ways of executing something, right? Yeah. You can either yeah. generate the code for that yeah. and execute it. Or you can execute some code based on what you read. Yeah, but I thought it uh, compiles, well, translates, compiles AC to bytecode and then it interprets this bytecode and executes this bytecode. It interprets the bytecode, but it doesn't generate anything for the bytecode. Did I say the generate session the bytecode? It said that it translates into what's going on. Okay. Yeah, we should say. Oh yeah, okay, okay, I got it. So it just executes it. It's not translated to the machine code, but just executes it. Yeah. Okay, got it. I, I got it. Anything? Well, I know it's not ready yet. No, it's like there's a bunch of like minor and bigger things. I would put it to the part of the board as there's like an ASC explorer, which is better. That's okay, like, that's a good like point. Fine thing. No, but Did listen. That? Yeah, I think I see that, but I I don't know, for some reason the screen well was the first thing that came to my mind. Sure. sure. No, I mean it's also fine because I I am really open to you know, to improvements. So yeah. It would be really nice. Uh, here, yeah. maybe we could give like some, some reference. I don't know. Like, I just say that, uh, I don't know about something. Yeah, the, yeah. The alternative would be just saying, I'm not going to pull that, but if you want to get the like, basic Thank design, you. you can look at these articles or then just cool. like, yeah. go and read an 800 pages book. That's, that's what I wrote. Yeah, yeah, but it's like an 800 pages book. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Like, if you, if you want to get a glimpse of it, just read like this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it. So I, I can just... Uh, so one thing that I try to do when I write articles like add as much links as you can. So yeah, true, true. So I will just add something to LR parsers and top-down parsers and sensors. Or even like, like a software article. People write... Because there's like... Yeah, there's like a lambda stuff on this podcast. Yeah? Yeah, oh, I can remember that. Or like James Kyle has like the super tiny like, compiler. Yeah, I, I I saw it. I saw it. Nice. It's pretty nice as well. So there's a bunch of like these like very very simple parsers and compiler stuff, which is all right. Yeah, yeah, we will pick it up. So sorry, I just <laughs> have sure, to yeah. have to back to this. <laughs> so you 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 did it. Awesome. But now let's do something different. So instead of push, let's Say pop, but not in, in only one place. Let's let's, let's make let's pop it here, yeah. Banana pop. Banana pop. So you see, you're going back now. Oh. Oh, that's so exciting. So that's that, that's how this stack works. So mm -hmm. you're navigating to the next element and then going back to the previous one. Okay. Okay. Now what? Now what? Now what? Okay. I'm ready for more. I'm ready for more. No, no, we can't. Now we want to navigate to different routes, different components. Exactly. For that, you need to go to the index dot. Yeah, this thingy. And here, instead of always rendering the home screen, 
you can I'm returning make, home here. Yeah, you can you can create a switch else. Yeah, switch case. Yeah, oh whatever God. it's called. Oh God. Switch case statement, and based on the route that is given to this function, you will you will choose a component to render, literally. Okay, wait, hold on. Help me write that. Yeah. Okay. So. So I delete this. Yeah. Remove that. Return. And uh, no, actually, remove even return. Okay. Switch. Uh, and inside the switch, it should be route dot component maybe. Wait, do I do this? No, it should be in the switch. Uh, let me show you. It should be here. <laughs> Look, so it's like you have render scene, right? Yeah. And it's like this thing. And here you have something like. Oh, do I need to change this? No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just okay, okay, prototyping good. super quickly. And then you have switch, and you have here uh, route, right? Mm -hmm. and so it's the right route. Let's call it not title but component, for instance, right? And then for every case, like let's say it's gonna be, I don't know, Apple, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna return Apple component, and for banana. We're gonna return uh, <laughs> the banana component will be nice. Hey, you got a point. Banana yeah, that's something good idea. So that's it. That that's how you Oh okay, so that's how you define your routes. Yeah, well that's a very that's one of the approaches how you can define routes. So yeah. it's not the only one and maybe even not the best one, but it's the simplest one, I guess. Okay. I'm going to blog about this. <laughs> okay, now what? So, now, as you I'm, can oh, see... Oh, I'm forgetting the semicolons. Yeah. So, I do the semicolons after the return. This is just a col colon, and here you should have a semicolon. Return case banana. Oh, got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So, now... It renders nothing. Okay. You know why? Because here in this, in the, no, in this uh, initial route, you don't have a component. So remove all the shit from this uh, initial route. No, from initial route. Yeah. Okay. Or just add default. Yeah, we can add default, but I want to explain why do we need this. I want the route. home one. I want the home one. Okay, so instead of title, just write component. And yeah, home instead of high. Yeah, awesome. So now you need to add it here because there is no case for home. So just add, yeah, I think you know what to do exactly. So change Apple to home in both places and save. And for some reason, it doesn't work. <laughs> Why? Why? Why the fuck it doesn't work? cannot update. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, this is really helpful. Not at all. Can you just uh, refresh this page? This thing, the thingy, just comment R. I don't yeah, know, sometimes it works. Oh! <laughs> it was probably already. Like, just command R. Com oh. Anybody. He doesn't like it. Oops. Command R. Banana. Nope. Pop of undefined. Yeah, you don't have a. You need to pass the navigator to the other components. <laughs> you need a prop there. No, no, yeah, no, where, where it works. Go no, back where it works. Okay. You no, no, no. Oh wait, my so index.io is still JS. Yeah, here. Now I have to pass like as a to the to the apple and banana and whatever. You use my component, right? So you have to uh, provide this property. Oh, there's a mice there. Huh? There's a mouse there. Yeah. There's a mouse? Seriously. No, can't be. I swear to you, it was just under the table, it ran from under the couch. There's a little mouse. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's a friendly one. So, wait, so how do I do the props again? No, it was not that bad. Yeah, it could be, man, because. 
It's not the inside, okay? That's what it like it is. So I do this right here, and I do my navigator. That makes me upset. I don't know, man. They would be closed if they there would be months. I just saw. I'm okay, okay. I'm not saying you're crazy. <laughs> it was literally just walking. Oh shit! Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, there's a little mouse. I saw the yeah. I saw it. It's right there. It's tiny. You got a little little baby mice. Oh shit. No, it's not great. Dude, we shouldn't be scared of the mouse. It's okay. It's, it's a little not baby mouse. but it's fucking annoying. Oh, this is right there. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put it there. <laughs> this little mouse, it's so cute. Okay, if it's not it's gonna not bite me, I'm fine. It's not gonna bite you. No. Wait, I'm doing props wrong. What am I doing? Mice don't bite. Yeah, but it's coming here. Look at that. <laughs> am I the only one who don't see the mouse? <laughs> Four times. Where the fuck is it? It's right there. Underneath there, in the middle. Watch, it's gonna be right here now. Shit, I don't see it. Okay, sure, wait, yes. okay. Props is more important. Okay. <laughs> I, I think you don't need the... Uh, just uh, my navigator? Yeah, but it, it shouldn't be in the curly braces. It's just a pro right? Look at that. Okay, I see it now. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> it probably has like a... thing here, right? Do I have to pass it into all my components? Yes, because you want this navigation to be available everywhere, right? But, you but you, you guys are fine with it. You are in the restaurant, and there's like a mall just. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a cafe, but yeah. Where you wandering around, it's like. Yeah, you can tell the waitress <laughs> that they have a mouse there. Okay. Do I need to put navigator in here? Um. Uh, yeah, it's it's in the props already because you're passing the props. Oh, I'm already passing it in. Yeah. So, but if you go to the home, um, no, not in the home. Sorry, in the index. In the index, uh, you haven't assigned anything to the my navigator, right? So you just said my navigator. Yes, but in the curly, yeah. And then just say that I don't know navigator as, as it was before. Yeah. So and is this work? what I'm? This is because of this, right? This yeah, of course, of course. If you will call it differently, then you will have to rename it, and then pass it everywhere, and your your button is going to work. Wait, am I defining this up here? It's a. Uh, is this my definition? Uh, no, it's a dependency injection of uh, React. So React automatically injects your route and navigator there. Yeah, but here is the point: you push something without components. So if you go to the home screen here you pushing title not a component right so instead of pushing title high and index one you can just say that I don't know could it need be just a string what? it didn't need to be an object right it could be no, just a string it can be just a string yeah yeah like that yeah, but uh, Apple it should be string, right? Yeah, like that. And you don't really need an index now. There is a functionality that allows you to jump to index. But if you don't need it, then you don't need the index as itself. So I only define the index on my my initial route. Huh? I only define the index on my You don't route. even have to define index in the Ever? initial route. No, you don't have to. So I can just do... Um, okay, now stone. Yeah, like this. And now refresh it. Command R. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Apple is not defined. So it means like you... You didn't require Apple. Yeah, in your walker. You have to require Apple and Banana and React <laughs> here because otherwise it just doesn't work. There it is. <laughs> uh, it makes you stress. It makes me uncomfortable. Oh, really? <laughs> we found a little mouse. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. it's running around. It's so cute, it keeps going in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> it's impossible to get them away. I mean, between 
three times a day. <laughs> yeah. Still, because there, it's because of the tram. Oh yeah, they're reconstructing this. Thing. And it's yeah. Good. That's why all the mice come up. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so wait. Now it's not working again. Then you actually don't come to the room. Oh man, come, come, come down. It's just, it's not, it's no, it's like it's not gonna bite you or something. No, that's not the thing. The the practice itself, right? Oh, you 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 have a duplication of React because you already have React um, here. Oh, I'm calling my component React. Yes, exactly. So, oh, so I can't call my component React. No, sorry. Uh, That's the only thing that you really can do. Well, you can. No. Do you, do you know how it's possible to call your component React? Yes. How? Oh. You can just import it, like, just the name of your module, and then use your module.react. Okay. Okay, yeah. That's possible. Okay, so wait, Apple didn't work. Why? Banana works. React works. Did I not do Apple? Next Apple, banana. Okay, my React, Apple, banana, that looks correct. Uh, what's the issue there? Press Apple. Hey. Expected a string for class function, but got undefined. Check render method of navigator. So, from some place, can you open home? Yeah, you were taking a different directory. Title, the last one. Yeah, it shouldn't be. Uh, it shouldn't be title. It should be component. Oh, I got two good linters here. Okay, so shit. No, it still complains, but it complains about Where, which one did you click? Apple. 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 And actually, Apple. Can you Do I have to import correct? Apple from here? No, no, no. no, 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 no. Just click? Can you open that? No, 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 no just click here. Somewhere. No, it's fine, right? Apple, can you go to the thing? Like, index. To the switch? Yeah, to the index. Route component so it's, it's fine. Apple, return Apple. And do you have a oh come on, you, you don't have to import them oh, from my React? No, 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 no. Oh. no. It's not a part of React Nation. Oh, sorry, you always sorry. want to put it as a I part know, of I know. Nation. Okay, so I have to import Apple from Apple. so hard to explain to people what you're doing, so it's easier to send selfies. <laughs> and then it's like, hey bro, what are you doing, la 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 la, nah. <laughs> okay, that's good. So I think you can, oh. <laughs> you click again in the line. Oh, shit. Uh, escape, whatever. Uh, can you open it? Okay, unable to resolve model banana. Oh, because I don't have a banana component. Yeah, no. I don't have a my React component either. You can just return the view. Right there. Oh, she already have an Apple component, so she can copy it all. Okay. Little mouse is <laughs> still going back and forth. It's so funny. It makes our evening special, you know? Why are you yeah. guys afraid of mice? It's not afraid, it's just like... <laughs> Look, it's so funny, it's just going back and See, forth, back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more scared than us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My react, okay, and then a banana one. Yeah, well, actually, it's the first time when I see a mind there. It's like, what the heck? What the heck? I just thought that was crazy. <laughs> no, no, man. So you were like, 
<laughs> yeah, okay, okay, you're right, you're right. <laughs> we don't even know if it's the same, or I know that it could be like 10 different things. It's fine. be different. Until I'm proven wrong. Alright, banana list. Okay. Commander. Nope. Okay. What, 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 what happens? Yes. Wait for shelf. Yes. Oh. Ooh, Apple yes. list. Congratulations. Ooh. And now you know what you can do. You can, can I back. can I show yeah, you? Yeah. No, I think if you click, you then can you can back. dry and swipe back. What? Like a negative experience. Yeah. What? No, it should be only this. I don't know, ten percent of the. Yeah. That's so freaking cool. All right, why is my my react? Let's call my react. Yes. Oh, that's hot. What about banana? Why is it banana routing? Why is it banana routing? How come banana isn't routing? So if I go to home, banana. Oh, because I'm popping it. Yeah, you should push. And then how do I go back? I just create a button. Yeah, you should create a button. You should pass. Uh, oh, you you anyway pass it. So. I have to call it touchable. I really would like person. what goes through the mind of the recruiter that tries to recruit me some vital job. It's like, yeah. All right, come on. What officially what are you going to do in uh, Uber? I don't know. You see? You see? So probably Python job is not the best, uh, or not, not the worst. It's, no, it's the worst definitely not Python. It's like C++ and Swift and Hopefully something else like Haskell or Java maybe as well. And some well, last last time I talked to this guy, he was about um, he, he was telling me this how, how it's called Mustafa, I guess. Yeah. He was telling me that uh, on the pipeline they have something like um, not syntax highlights, but you know when you mouse over on something and it automatically. Uh, request yeah. some information from the backend server, application. So you will have to parse this line of code. Yeah. Then probably find this um, text note. Yeah, text note, and then request it in the context of the I don't know of the stream or something. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. Yeah, it's there, there is a lot of Swift, but I'll be writing too, not code. So I'll probably just be able to use whatever I want. So I'm doing something wrong. And so I have to import touchable opacity? Yes. Yes. Let's start with this. <laughs> if we're using it? But you only need to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, only you probably don't need Navigator there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need Operator already screen. importing at the top. But top. you... Oh, I'm already doing it. Yeah, so just... Just a touchable highlight here. Just touchable opacity, yeah. Yep, that's the thing. Okay, so... It's good so far. Yay! Yay! Hallelujah! You see? You see? Like the most amazing thing ever! That's Yay. pretty good, though. Like, yeah! Are you amused? Oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? Like, it will take longer in native code. Well, now how do we deploy it? Huh? How do we deploy it now? Deploy? Deploy What's where? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I, 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 know, I know what to do. You could have used do you, do, you, do you have a uh, USB cable? Uh, yeah, you do. Okay, connect your uh, phone to your um, to your Mac. Connect my phone to my... Oh my god, okay, okay. I'm ready for this. No, you need an Apple. Ooh, you just lost. To the mice. <laughs> well, yeah, the mice the gonna seal it. <laughs> All right, connect my phone yeah. to the computer. But, no, 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 she needs an Apple developer profile no. and a provisioning profile and an app ID and a certificate and an Apple developer. Account. Oh God! Oh God! No, wait for a yes to deploy it. It, it was it was a case two years ago. Now it's possible just to <laughs> deploy. <it. laughs> no. <laughs> For example, it's never possible to do anything without going through a lot of pain. 
<laughs> okay. What is that? That looks really great. Come on, try it. Here. No, no, it's fine. Try it. I'm just curious. Do it, do it, try it. Yeah. Try it. Come on. Buy it. It's just a pork. Yeah. It's just a pork. Eat it. It's not sheer size. Don't, that is don't definitely try. sheer size. Do I try one? No, I'm fine. Really? really? No, I don't want. You I don't. Need me to get the problem. The problem, the problem is that I don't want. That's the thing. The mouse wants it. Okay, now what? So, uh, open Xcode. Yeah, a fun, fun part begins. Oh yeah. Are you ready for a lot of pain? <laughs> Okay, now what? It's the same amount. Now X no, just uh, it's yeah. now just open the project. Uh, no, not definitely not a new project. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what you can do? If you have a console open in the directory, you can run open space uh, iOS slash uh, tap. Yeah. <laughs> Tab? No, tap, tap, press tab. Tab. Oh, tab, tab. okay. Sorry. Uh, and, uh, yeah, pons.xcode. Pro yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, awesome. So, now what you need to do... Uh, oh, you already have your phone connected, so mm -hmm. just press play. Yeah, that's not how it works. That's what I was trying to tell you. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> No, if you really want to run on your device, prepare to spend at least like a couple hours. I don't know, it was, it was pretty simple for me. I mean, I, I just... Do you have a developer account? I registered a developer yeah. account, but I never paid for that. I mean, I just registered a developer account. But then you have to wait the certificate request, then an app ID, then a provisioning profile. Shit, I wasn't yeah. kidding, that's how it works. Yeah, well, okay. You guys forget the pain of doing it for the first time. Sorry, can I get some sauce? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Don't I be sorry. I still have food. Sauce is good. I here, here. Ask for sauce. Look, run it on device. So, it's not that long article. It's just, it's just this. Okay, so. What the heck? It's not telling you anything about a real run on device. But at least it's not too long. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually expected some more, you know, on this. It's like, what the heck? That's a Puns are ready. Well, docs can't just tell you everything, otherwise... Docs right? can't tell you everything? Yeah, it has to leave like some mystery. But dude, look at this. <laughs> yeah, well, that that part works, but theoretically, let's let's really I mean this part for now. But uh, once you once you uh, create some magical developers account uh, in Apple and other stuff, you can just deploy it straight for well, you can deploy it on your really? mobile. Yeah. So cool. You can still run away 